Jonas CLI Mods is the start of the topic where we learn how to work with Jonas CLI user interface. This section introduces Jonas CLI Mods including shell mode, operational mode and configuration mode where you can configure, monitor and troubleshoot your configurations. Depending on whether you log in as a root user or as a non-root user, you will be put into FreeBSD shell mode or Jonas operational mode. If you log in as a root user, you will enter the FreeBSD shell mode. There is not much to do in shell mode other than file system commands, list files, copy the files to the other computers, mount external USB storage and etc. Sometimes when you ask Juniper technical persons for low level troubleshooting, they ask you to run some commands in the shell mode environment and give them the output. In shell mode, you can use the CLI command to switch to Jonas operational mode. With exit command, you will come back again to the shell mode. But if you log in as a non-root user, you will see directly Jonas operational mode in which you can do monitoring, troubleshooting and also file system commands. As a non-root user, you can also start shell environment by entering the command start shell. In operational mode, we can enter configuration mode by entering configure command. As the name suggests, in this mode, we will configure the device or change the current configuration. We come back again into the operational mode with exit command. To get a better feeling of different Jonas modes, let's touch the real Jonas CLI interface. First of all, let's log in to Virtual SRX once as a root user and once as a non-root user. Is a, as a Raika user and it's as a root user. As you can see, when we log in with the root user, we are put in the shell mode and we enter the operational mode with CLI command. But when we log in with the Raika user, which is non-root user, we see directly the operational mode environment. As you can see now, both are in the operational mode. In the non-root user, in the operational mode, we can start the shell with a start shell command and then exit. The most important command in operational mode is show configuration. In which the current active configuration is displayed. Usually, it is easier to display the set version of the configuration, which can be simply copied to the other devices or applied remotely to the device. With the command show configuration, display the set version of the configuration. You can see the set version of the current active configuration. As you can see, all commands are started with set. Or you can show only part of the configuration with matching a specific keyword, for example, show configuration display set, for example, match a screen, in which show only a part of configuration, lines including all lines including a screen keyword. Another important command in operational mode is to check the status and IP address of all interfaces briefly with the show interface pairs command. It shows the status of all interfaces. And for example, the IP address of management interface, FXP0, unit 0, 192, 168, 200, 100, and the status physical and line protocol both are up which we have configured in the previous section. But there are some other monitoring, troubleshooting and file system command in operational modes that are also commonly used. It is enough to enter question mark in the operational mode to see the list of the commands in the 
operation بود monitoring commands are started with the show keywords for example show run show configuration or show interface test file system commands are started with the keyboard file for example file copy file delete file transfer and so and also some troubleshooting commands like uh, telnet like ssh like ping like trace route trace route it is also uh, possible to restart device in the operational mode with the command starting with request the request command is mostly used for rebooting the device or uh, or upgrading the software of Jonas. we use the command starting with the request using configure command in cli operational mode we enter the configuration mode when new changes are configured probably the easiest configuration is to change the host name it is two ways to change the host name as also i have talked in the previous video in the first method we go to the system edit system we go to the system context with the edit system command and then here we change the host name for example with command host set host name with a set command set host name vsrx1 in the second method go again to the top configuration mode in the second method we change the configuration without entering any context and directly with the set command for example for changing the host name we use set system again host name and then we yes, v virtual srx1 if you want to see what changes you have made to the configuration that has not yet been applied you can check it with the command show compare which we use most frequently and as you can see the host name command is added the plus shows that the configuration is added to the configuration to the current configuration host name virtual SRX one but it's not still applied you can discard the configuration changes when you have a configuration but you don't want to apply it you can choose rollback zero command and if we again use the show compare command compare as you can see there is nothing to be changed again set system hostname virtual srx1 so with the rollback zero the changes are discarded to make sure that it was discarded i've used show compare command which shows there is no changes to be applied to the device and changes are discarded if we commit the configuration changes the host name of the device will be changed and we can see it immediately as you can see the host name has changed from virtual srx to virtual srx1 we can also delete a command after applying by adding delete keyword instead of set at the beginning of the command like no in cisco devices delete system host name and again show compare show shows which configuration is done but it's not still applied as you can see host name virtual size one is removed but it's not still applied we can apply it with the commit command again and if i use show configuration we can use operational mode uh, monitoring command with the run in configuration mode show configuration match host name as you can see there is no as you can see there is no host name command but with our run we are not allowed to use 
the command of the monitoring command of operational mode in configuration mode but with using run at the beginning of the command in configuration mode we are allowed to use the commands of operational mode so show configuration and with display we can make sure that hostname is removed match host I want to admit that I like working with the Juno CLI interface also most of my experience come back to the Cisco devices but in my opinion the Juno CLI interface is better than Cisco devices of course Cisco iOS XR devices are exceptions which are similar in configuration to the Juno's devices